Any questions yeah. finishing? HF portable for campsite use. Oh. Oh, hey, James asked, <laughs> oh. portable HF antenna for campsites. Mm -hmm. That is a really good question. Um, well, we know what you're going to say. I've used a lot of it. Uh, this, last summer, this last year, I've used a lot of antennas on the campsite. And um, if space is a concern, the old uh, Wolf River Coil Silver Bullet 1000 works mm -hmm. really well. Three or, you know, three or so radials, 30-some feet long, spread out. Uh, Put a whip on, you know, collapsible whip on that on, on that coil, and it, it works gangbusters. Mm -hmm. And I've also used the um, Chameleon's M Pass too, but um, you know, honestly, the Wolf River is a better value, and it's a great out there. You know, you get um, real no lo real low noise floor, and it they always perform quite well uh, when I'm camping. Yeah. If you get a little bit more space, um, my second antenna that I've used a lot especially if the campsite is nice and wooded, is um, I got that homebrew linked dipole antenna. Mm -hmm. And uh, 40 meters and 20 meters. So uh, fully you, extended, it's a, it's a 40 meter dipole. You were crazy on that this summer. Oh, it was, it, yeah. that worked really, that, I, that, was, that was a great performer. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, it's, it's easy to find a tree branch that's like 25 feet up and, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and then if you want 40 meters, you know, you use the antenna at its full length. And then um, if you want uh, 20 meters, you know, I just drop the antenna down, cut mm -hmm. out the, you know, the, like I said, they're linked. So I just break the links. So now it's a 20 meter antenna, put it back up in the air and um, no, no tuner necessary. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, uh, yeah. I think, I it, think you know, the, yeah. when we did um, the spring for the 100 watts or wire tune up, we yeah. built the off center fed dipoles. The off-center fed uh, ones, the, yeah. The dipole is real easy to put up. It fits well into a go bag. You can throw it in a camper. You can throw it, you know, in a bag with a tent even. Um, those off-center fed dipoles, especially the 40, 20, 10 one that I built, you built one to cut for 80 meters. Um, they work really good. We had very good response with them, even though our video, uh, my antenna, sucked. <laughs> Yeah, they do actually work really good. And that's another thing to consider. Never underestimate the power of a good dipole. I'll yep. just say that. But you got to have you got to have, you know, an antenna support for it. A, you know, a tree or some of some sort. And um, right. If you don't, don't have a tree, anywhere, there's not trees. Yeah. Well, if you're in the desert, I suppose you could bring a mast with you. You know, if you had about yeah. 25 feet of mast, you could do that. But um, if you're in a spot where um you can't put stuff in the trees or trees are difficult. You know, I was at one campground where it was all, you know, there was, there was nothing there. So the vertical antenna, you know, is, is your fallback in that case. Yep. Yeah, one more question had... there before we yep. have to get out of here. Um, Victor asks, are there any compact antennas for 80, 80 meter Envis? Dipoles for 80 meter won't fit in my backyard. Um, use a 40 meter dipole and, uh, and a tuner. Mm -hmm. And you'll get 80, you'll you'll get eighty meter envis on that. Mm -hmm. I've 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 done that and it, it works. So, hey, thanks for watching. Do you have any questions or comments? Well, please leave them in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, you know, maybe yours will end up in our next Your Questions Answered live stream. For more articles and information, though, please check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos, so check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbrantennas. Also, give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, especially if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. Well, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.